Hi, my name's John Marshall. Welcome to the very first installment for the Textile of the Month Club for the year 2023. This year is the year of the rabbit in the Asian lunar calendar, so I thought, well, let's begin with a um, brief katazome tutorial on how to produce your own Year of the Rabbit New Year's card. After watching this introduction, if you'd care to take a katazome class to learn a little bit more how to go about dyeing your own textiles, or certainly if you'd like to try your hand at this, I have the supplies available online. And if you would like to buy the actual samples that I've dyed, feel free to check out the links below. So let's go ahead and get started on this project. Welcome to the year 2023. We have to start somewhere, and I was one of six kids growing up, so I decided to give my mama rabbit six little rablets. We'll begin by creating a stencil of the outline of our rabbits, which will help to define them during the dyeing process. My next stencil will be a mask to block out all of the colors I just applied and protect them as I apply the background colors and then over the top of the background colors apply this next stencil of cherry blossoms. Once the background colors have been applied, I'll want to introduce the rays of the morning sun offering light, warmth, and hope for the coming year. The stencils we've carved are used to apply the rice paste which protects the fabric beneath from receiving any further color. By starting with the rabbit we have white outlines on white fabric. Once those colors are applied, a mask of paste is spread over them to protect them from being stained further as we apply the background colors. Once the background colors are applied and dried, we go on to add the cherry blossoms, a few more colors to the background, including a wash of yellow. And finally, our morning rays of the sun stencil as we apply the last coats of dye to the morning sky. Once the dyes are set, the water-based paste is simply washed away to expose your entire image. Perhaps at this stage you can better appreciate the value of having taken time and care in applying so many layers of rice paste alternating with colors to give us this wonderful effect of light and dance and movement in our textile piece. Let's take a moment to do a quick review. The first thing we did was carve our stencils apply the rice paste for the outline of the rabbits, build up various shades of colors, I've used natural dyes in my case, applied a layer of paste to protect those colors from any further change, applied washes to the background to build up shades and nuance. Over the top of that, we applied our cherry blossom stencil, more background color, our rays of the sun stencil, allowed everything to cure or set or steam as your dyes require, and then wash off all of this paste to expose our rabbit of the year for 2023. So again, the process is very direct. We have four specific stencils carved out of handmade mulberry paper, all used in harmony to create our piece. If you'd care to subscribe to the Textile of the Month Club, just check out the links below for more information. I'll look forward to seeing you next time.